Welcome kids big and small To our adventure let's have a ball With songs and stories every day We're here to learn and laugh away Tiny explorers that's our name With friends and fun it's all a game Discover wonders near and far You'll be the brightest little star Tiny Explorers Academy One, two... Huh. Hi, little Tiny Explorers. Welcome back to Tiny Explorers Academy. Today, we're going to travel back in time to the age of the dinosaurs. Isn't it cool to learn about the dinosaurs that are so giant? Uh, where do you think I am taking all of you today? Can you guess? Yes. If you guess it, the Dinosaur Museum, then you are correct. A museum is a place where collections of artifacts and other objects of artistic, cultural, historical, or scientific importance are preserved and displayed for the public to view and learn from. Let's go inside and explore the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs lived millions of years ago, and there were so many different kinds. They are a diverse group of reptiles. Today, we'll meet 15 amazing dinosaurs. Let's start with our first friend. Tyrannosaurus rex. The Tyrannosaurus rex, often abbreviated as T-Rex, was one of the largest and most fearsome carnivorous dinosaurs. T-Rex was massive, its powerful jaws could crush bones, and it had sharp serrated teeth up to 12 inches long. T-Rex was one of the most famous dinosaurs, often depicted in movies, books, and documentaries, capturing the imagination of people worldwide as the quintessential dinosaur predator. What do you think T-Rex used its tiny arms for? Triceratops. This dinosaur had three horns on its face and a large frill at the back of its head. They had a sturdy, robust body supported by strong, column-like legs with three hooves on each foot. Triceratops were herbivores, feeding primarily on low-growing vegetation. Their beak-like mouths and rows of shearing teeth were well adapted for cropping and chewing tough plant material. Can you imagine what Triceratops used its three horns for? The Velociraptor. The Velociraptor is one of the most famous dinosaurs, often depicted in popular culture as a swift and deadly predator. A small, fast, and agile carnivorous dinosaur, Velociraptor had a long, curved claw on each foot and likely hunted in packs. Velociraptor was a carnivore, preying on smaller dinosaurs, reptiles, and possibly scavenging. It likely used its agility and claws to catch and kill prey. How fast do you think Velociraptors could run? Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus is another iconic dinosaur, best known for its distinctive row of large bony plates along its back and the spiked tail. Stegosaurus was a herbivore, feeding primarily on low-lying plants such as ferns, cycads, and conifers. Its teeth were adapted for stripping leaves rather than chewing. Stegosaurus remains a subject of fascination and study, contributing valuable information to our understanding of dinosaurs' evolution. Why do you think Stegosaurus had plates on its back? Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus is one of the most recognizable and impressive dinosaurs due to its enormous size and distinctive body structure. Brachiosaurus was a herbivore, feeding primarily on high-growing vegetation. The unique structure of Brachiosaurus's body and neck allowed it to feed on a wide range of vegetation at different heights, reducing competition with other herbivores. How tall do you think Brachiosaurus was? Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus is one of the most intriguing and distinctive dinosaurs, known for its impressive size and unique adaptations. Spinosaurus was primarily piscivorous, fish eating, but it likely had a varied diet that included other small to medium-sized prey. 
Spinosaurus is believed to have been semi-aquatic, spending much of its time in rivers and swamps. Evidence for this includes its paddle-like feet and dense bones, which would have helped it to submerge and hunt in water. What do you think the sail on Spinosaurus's back was used for? Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus is one of the most famous and well-armored dinosaurs, known for its distinctive body armor and club-like tail. Ankylosaurus was a herbivore, feeding primarily on low-lying vegetation. It had a beak-like mouth for cropping plants and small leaf-shaped teeth for chewing. Fossils have been found primarily in North America, particularly in the Western United States and Canada, including Montana, Alberta, and Wyoming. How do you think Ankylosaurus used its tail for protection? Pteranodon. Pteranodon is one of the most well-known pterosaurs, often recognized for its impressive wingspan and distinctive cranial crest. Pteranodon primarily fed on fish. It likely skimmed the water's surface or plunged to catch its prey. Fossil evidence suggests it also might have eaten squid and other small marine animals. Pteranodon remains a symbol of the diverse and fascinating group of flying reptiles known as pterosaurs. For what purpose do you think they use their large wings for? Diplodocus. Diplodocus is one of the most iconic sauropod dinosaurs, known for its enormous thighs, long neck, and whip-like tail. Diplodocus was a herbivore, primarily feeding on high-growing vegetation. Fossils have been found primarily in North America, particularly in the Morrison Formation, which spans several states including Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, and Montana. How long do you think Diplodocus's tail was? Allosaurus. Allosaurus is one of the most well-known theropod dinosaurs, often regarded as a quintessential large predator of the late Jurassic period. Allosaurus was a carnivore, preying on large herbivorous dinosaurs such as Stegosaurus and Camarasaurus. There is some evidence to suggest that Allosaurus may have exhibited social behaviors, potentially hunting in groups. What other dinosaurs do you think Allosaurus hunted? Iguanodon. Iguanodon is one of the first dinosaurs to be scientifically described, playing a crucial role in the early study of dinosaurs. Iguanodon was a herbivore, feeding on a variety of plant materials, including ferns, cycads, and conifers. Iguanodon remains an important and influential dinosaur in the study of prehistoric life, offering insights into the early understanding of dinosaurs and the evolution of herbivorous dinosaurs during the Cretaceous period. What do you think Iguanodon used its thumb spikes for? Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus is a well-known dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period, famous for its distinctive cranial crest. Parasaurolophus was primarily a herbivore, feeding on a range of plant materials. Evidence suggests that Parasaurolophus may have lived in herds, providing protection and social interaction. What sounds do you think Parasaurolophus made with its crest? Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus is a well-known dinosaur, recognized for its distinctive thick skull roof. It belongs to the family Pachycephalosauridae. Pachycephalosaurus was a herbivore. The thick skull of Pachycephalosaurus suggests that it may have engaged in headbutting behavior either for combat with other members of its species. Why do you think Pachycephalosaurus had such a thick skull? Nocomsognathus. Compsognathus is a small, bipedal dinosaur from the late Jurassic period, known for its slender build and relatively small size. Compsognathus was a carnivore. Its lightweight build and long legs suggests that Compsognathus was a fast and agile runner. For what purpose do you think they used their agility for? Argentinosaurus. 
Argentinosaurus is one of the largest known dinosaurs, notable for its enormous size and impressive proportions. It belonged to the sauropod group. Argentinosaurus is considered one of the largest land animals ever to have existed. Despite its enormous size, Argentinosaurus may have been able to move relatively quickly for a dinosaur of its size, although its primary defense would have been its sheer size and possibly the use of its tail. What did their long neck allow them for? Wow, we met so many incredible dinosaurs today. The world of dinosaurs is full of amazing creatures. Thanks for joining me on this dino discovery adventure. Next, we are going to listen and sing a dino full song about the dinosaurs. Come join with me. Big and strong, they roam the land. Poor soul out can't understand. Bones and fossils in the ground. They know days where they were found. T Rex came with mighty roar. Brontosaurus once or more. Stegosaurus spikes galore. Dino days we all adore. Dino days, oh Dino days. Walking in a prehistoric haze. Dino days, oh Dino days. Hear the echoes through the wind maze. Jurassic World filled with fun. Running wild under the sun. Chasing roar until we're done. Dinosaurs number one. Dino days, oh I hope you all did amazing on the quiz. Thanks for joining our dino adventure today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun and learning. See you next time. And bye for now.